WDNY News. This is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Tuesday afternoon. If you've stepped outside, you are probably enjoying these comfortable temperatures you're seeing in some pretty dry conditions. We actually have people walking their dogs up at Watkins Glen this afternoon, enjoying a pretty nice summer day. And if you do so, you might just want to keep your eye on the sky because you might run into a passing shower, but we're not talking about a washout by any means. Let's take a look at your temperatures because we're comfortably sitting in the upper 60s, low to mid 70s. 73 right now in Watkins Glen. We're at 70 in Tioga, Pennsylvania. Big cooler down in Morris. You're at 69 and it's currently 72 out in Aaron. So we are going to see these temperatures continuing to climb, getting into the mid even upper 70s by the end of the day with a mixture of sun and clouds. But we do have a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of moisture out there working together to create a few pop up showers as we progress on throughout the afternoon. So let's time it all out for you, helping you plan out the rest of your day. Now, not everyone's going to see that chance for showers. As you can see, a couple people see a shower that's going to be light and quickly moving through, and then it tapers off as we get into Tuesday night. As the sun sets, the showers taper off, and overnight we're looking at mostly clear skies and some patchy fog possible going into your Wednesday morning, where we're just seeing nothing but sunshine throughout the day, until you get to about 4 p.m., then we could see some isolated showers and even a rumble of thunder possible as well. So pretty much we are looking at similar conditions today and tomorrow, but towards the end of the week, things are starting to get a little bit more ramped up. And it's going to be due to this low pressure system that we're tracking out of the Midwest and into the Great Lakes region. 4 p.m. Thursday, you might see a passing shower, but most will be dry. And then going into Friday morning, we're starting it off dry with cloud cover increasing. However, a warm front will be approaching from our west. And once this lifts up into our area Friday night, this is when we're going to start to see the showers moving in. Now, this system is looking to slow down a bit and kind of stick with us as we progress on through the weekend. Saturday lunchtime, you know there's a lot of events happening this weekend. We are looking at showers continuing to push into the area and it's going to stay with us even into Sunday. As you can see, this cold front is taking its time pushing through, meaning more rainfall on the way as we go into the second half of your weekend as well. Now, why I'm tracking this is because we haven't dried out from the rain we saw last week. So get ready because we could see rainfall amounts upwards of one inch, and this could lead to some flash flooding going into the weekend. Your first warning weather team will be keeping you updated on air and online for today. Partly sunny, isolated showers, a five degree guarantee of 78. We are in the mid 80s to end out the week with lots of sunshine Wednesday and Thursday, but a passing shower can't be ruled out. Best chance for showers, though, will be going into this weekend as temperatures dip from the 80s into the 70s by early next week.